All right, so these first couple of days here, Super Bowl week, uh, I've been taking a look at playmakers for the different teams. Uh, looked at the Philadelphia main two playmakers yesterday. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the Chiefs. We obviously looked at Travis Kelsey earlier if you watched that study ball, and now I'm going to take a look at Jarek McKinnon, um, a guy that they use in special situations, um, but I think he could be really huge in the Super Bowl with the way the Philadelphia Eagles play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Really good corners, uh, guys in the secondary, but may have opportunities, meaning the Chiefs, to exploit the underneath coverage, the linebacker coverage in man-to-man -man situations, especially uh, critical situations, as I said, down in the red zone where Jarrett McKinnon becomes a really vital part of what the Chiefs do specifically in the pass game. All right, so man-to-man -man situations. Obviously, McKinnon is here in the backfield. And a big part of man-to-man -man coverage is the screen game. Chiefs are really good at the screen game. So bring the blitz, right? We're going to bluff right here and run the screen. And now it's about getting out and blocking the one or two guys that are out there to cover the back. Chiefs do a really good job of it. You see it. Three guys out here. We get man-to-man -man coverage. Oftentimes, you get one guy out there. You got to pick off the guy that's covering the back in man-to-man. -man. And then McKinnon has the ability to make the big plays off of that as he splits everything right here and sets them up inside the five. So Chiefs are so good. Screen game. Boom. Hit, release, work down uh, the line of scrimmage. Allow the back to get in behind you and allow him to set up your blocks. Really well done right there. Getting bodies, big guys getting bodies on little guys. Big play. All right, so... Here he is again, this particular situation. Put him in a wing spot. Looks like he's gonna come up to chip Bosa right there. Boom, another what we call a little slip screen where we're gonna put him on the end man on the line of scrimmage, let him push him inside and then throw that slip screen. Again, go get the guy that's back there, the one guy that's man to man on the back. We do that right there, split it. Now let's go get ourselves another big play as he puts one, this one again down inside the five-yard line. So screen game, different ways to uh, you know, get involved in the screen game. Saw one from the backfield, one from a chip position. So those are things that they like to do, okay? Another thing is what we call the T-sneak play, okay? So the T-sneak play, backs in the backfield, like it when they've got man-to-man -man coverage. And what they do with the back is they sneak him through behind the line of scrimmage, and then he finds an opening, and oftentimes you bring guys back in this direction. So that guy that's covering the back man gets caught up with all this garbage right here. And it's a quick, easy throw to the other side. You see it right there, right? Man-to-man -man coverage. These two defenders run into each other with all the crossers. Boom. Let's get it out to McKinnon. Easy little completion, but great change-ups, right? What do we know about the Eagles? Great pass rush. Great pass rush. Like to play man behind it, especially in recent weeks. Great, we're gonna slow down the pass rush with the screen game, and then the little change-ups that we have, like this with the T-sneak. And you know that Andy Reid and company are going to be creative, okay? So watch, we just saw the T-sneak, comes down here, goes through the line of scrimmage, watch this one. Now, we got man-to-man -man coverage, again. Linebacker starts to move with McKinnon, who's coming across. Okay, so the sneak looks like he's coming across to maybe block the pressure or he's sneaking across to be a part on the other side. Watch this. Oh, we're going to fake the sneak to one side. We're going to get the linebacker going there. We're going to seal him with the offensive line. And then we're going to fake sneak it, bring him out the other side. And here we go again. Big play down, setting us up inside the red zone. So he's so big inside the red zone. He's so big as we're getting set up for the red zone creative ways to spring him free and allow him to be a big playmaker against man-to-man -man coverage. All right, now we're going to set up inside the red zone. We get down tight. Here we go again. Screen game, screen game. Get him out there. Big guys, go get little guys. Allow him to make plays in space. Sets this one up here. Goes up over the top for the touchdown. And then more of the same. Here's the Bengals. They're playing man-to-man -man coverage. Oh, what are we going to do? Here it is, right? We've seen this happen before, that the Chiefs will use McKinnon different ways out here, flats, swings, angles to this side. So now we got to change it up 
and Wilson right here jumps to the outside because he goes, well, that's where he's going to have to go. He's going to have to come out here. Now I can jump him in man-to-man -man coverage. Let's run the sneak down in the red zone. There it is. He's trying to chase him all the way over. Easy completion, stealing money, and getting in the end zone. Okay, here we go. Got one more. Same thing, right? Same thing. Here we go. And the man, whoop, can't get through there. It's a full out blitz right here. They're assuming that the back's going to have to block. And look, this is really good too. I mean, look at McKinnon have to squeeze through here because that's part of this whole thing is having guys that are athletic enough to find those openings and squeeze through there, not get hung up with all the bodies. Does a great job of squeezing through there. Patrick buys just enough time easy completion into the end zone. So creative ways to use Jarek McKinnon in critical situations as they're approaching the red zone, as they get tight into the red zone, specifically if they're going to see a lot of man-to-man -man coverage with that aggressive pass rush. All right, so there's a look at another playmaker that I believe could be huge in this game. McKinnon was huge in terms of catching the ball out of the backfield and scoring touchdowns this year, as good as any running back in the National Football League. And so look for him to be a part of this. Pacheco has been great all year as their primary run guy. And he'll catch some of these things out of the backfield. But when they want to throw the football, McKinnon is the guy. He's really good in pass protection. And he's great with these little screens, these little change-ups that they have because you see the great feel that he has. And then once the ball's in his hand, he is a big play maker. So you got Travis Kelsey, who we know is going to be a big part of this game, but don't be surprised if Jared McKinnon shows up at critical moments, uh, you know, for this Chiefs team, because he's a guy that could also make big plays for him, even though he doesn't play a multitude of snaps.